A big launch is expected to blast off from our space coast this week, just a month after a moon lander failed to reach the lunar surface. Another space company has a chance to make history. New 6's James Barbero tells us, like astrobotics ambitions, intuitive machines also looks to pave the way for NASA astronauts to return to the moon. It is a story all new at 4.30. So we talked in January how NASA wants these private, uncrewed landers to scout out the moon before the astronauts have the chance to do so, starting with the Artemis 3 mission. It didn't work out for Astrobotics' Peregrine lander, so now the Nova Sea lander from Intuitive Machines looks to become the first private American spacecraft to land on the moon. In a teleconference, NASA just told us more about how these landers lay the groundwork for NASA's long-term goals of science and exploration on the moon. The goal here is for us to investigate the moon in preparation for Artemis. These commercial companies will be bringing our instruments along for the ride, enabling our investigations. Steve Altimus is the CEO of Intuitive Machines. Steve, on the teleconference this morning, NASA talked about its excitement, the science, the groundwork being laid by companies like yours. I know you must be incredibly excited. Is there also an element of pressure to reach the moon? Well, of course, you, you know, we're excited because uh, you know, we're just moments away from a liftoff of our first historic mission to return the United States to the moon. Uh, in terms of pressure, the team is laser focused. We've done everything we could uh, to deliver the best system we could possibly deliver. Can you tell us about just one of those payloads on board that you're looking forward to seeing how it can demonstrate the technologies that will help NASA once astronauts are ready to return to the moon? Well, there's a very interesting payload that films the dust ejecting from the surface. And so we get a really good understanding of how that dust plume moves without an atmosphere. So that when designing systems like habitats and landing pads, we can understand what the detrimental effects of that dust impinging on them might be. The launch is scheduled Wednesday morning at 1257 on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket at launch pad 39A. NASA says the lander will touch down on the moon eight days later on the 22nd. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. Of course, we'll bring you all the excitement leading up to Wednesday on our website. We have an entire section dedicated to these space happenings at clickorlando.com space.